what's going on youtube i know it's been a while but i've been doing some things been a little busy so i wanted to get this video in and show you guys what we're doing to the arima so check it out my brother just bought it it's been like two months they don't have anything i guess because of covid and we can't get them in but finally the dealer called us said it was ready to go so we had to get it and we went for the suzuki 9.9 .9 electric fuel injection power tilt power power start so i'm going to give you a little bit of an unboxing see how it looks and then hopefully we get an install and uh get it going so i'm super excited it's finally here it's been like two months but it's here now we just got to open it up unbox it and install it off these first straps Let's see what she looks like on the inside so we're doing a little research and they came down to either a Suzuki or a Yamaha and I heard they're both great engines at that point everybody was saying you're either a Yamaha guy or girl or a Suzuki person so we ended up going with the Suzuki just because it was a nice, it was a nice look, and we were able to get the color we wanted. So check it out, guys. Man. White on white. That's pretty cool. I didn't know if it came with a with a fuel line so fuel lines right there that's all we need and it should come with the battery cable which is this guy hopefully it's long enough a suzuki four stroke 9.9 .9. i think they call it an arctic white ultra clean burn super super nice looking now we just got a mountain Let's see. Maybe the manual, a bunch of stuff so you can work on it. Like I said, the fuel line. Don't know what this box is. Oh, I guess they give you a fuel tank. Let me open it up just in case. I guess you're running it on its own and a little. A little template quote or something. Let me give you a fuel. A fuel can. What is it? Three gallons. So there it is. Three gallon fuel tank. We won't be needing this because we'll just be running off of the our uh, our main boat fuel tank. So that's pretty cool. You don't have to buy one, I guess, if you have your little your little dinghy or your inflatable boat three gallons is definitely enough to go fishing on the lake or river but that's cool we have it extra fuel just in case we go for tuna or something comes with the prop a little just a little bit of I guess grease from the when we started it but everything else looks clean pretty good Got a, well, it's got a four blade prop. That's pretty cool. I don't know what the pitch is, but overall it looks pretty good. 10x5, four blades. Super, super nice looking. I'm excited. I'm excited that I don't have to, we don't have to prop it up manually, anything. It's power tilt. So just press of a button, she goes up, press of a button, she goes down. 
and then we can start it. The nice thing about these Suzuki engines, which a lot of them that I've, I've read don't have, is that when you have electric start, that's all you get. But this one comes with a pull start too. So just in case your battery runs out or something, you can always give it a pull and crank it that way. So super stoked about that as well. All right, we're gonna continue unboxing this, get it propped up. Just remember, always remember if you're gonna start it, you gotta add oil. So make sure you add oil, check your owner's manual to see what kind this is. This one takes, I think 10W40. You can either go Suzuki or anything that's, I think, and MMA certified, something like that. But yeah, so 10W40 for this guy. We'll get some oil and then hopefully line it up on on the Arima and get it started for the first time. All right. Alright, perfect. So you guys saw us working on the on the mountain plate. So basically what we did is we just cut it and then my brother and I we just kind of rounded the edges, make it nice and smooth, that way it didn't have any sharp edges on the side. So that came out perfect. And then for this, pretty easy. You just kind of line up your holes. This one was just slightly a little lower, but no big problem. We just kind of widened it a little bit and then we fit it. Mounts perfect. So what we're gonna do now is just get some marine silicone sealant and we're just going to put it inside just so that there's no water coming in um, and then it gets a nice and tight seal so we'll fill it up really quick we'll put the mountain plate and then you guys can see us just mount the motor and that should be pretty much it and then later on i'll show you guys how we uh, connect the fuel line and then the battery cables but yeah marine cone silicate just get a little bit of i just got clear you can get whatever color your boat is or whatever you want but we should kind of fill the pocket you see it kind of squirting out we want to make sure we get enough good amount in there even if it squirts out that's pretty good but just like that fill every all of them nice and that's just so we can get a nice seal and there's no water going in there even if we do, let's say, get a little bit of water in, it won't be too bad because we actually have our, our opening here on this side. You guys can see it. That we can go in and just in case we can always suck water out just in case there is some. But that's pretty much it. We got the ceiling in. And then uh, we can go ahead and mount it. And then as far as your height, we like four inches. That kept us right, right our, our propeller, right where we want to be, just underneath um, the boat here. So four inches was just about right. And then we just measured everything, make sure it was level, and that should be pretty perfect. We got a washer here, all stainless steel bolts. That way we don't have any uh, rust. And then washers on the back with uh, the nylon lock nuts. in and as you see these bottom two I didn't have to countersink them at all these ones I did countersink because our mounting bracket it was gonna slightly touch it and I didn't want any it to be offset or anything so countersink nice and flush no issues there that's pretty much it we got some stainless steel washers we'll add one on the back of each one of these guys it's gonna be a little messy because we got silicone in there but it's okay
I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten this up and we'll go ahead and mount the motor. Just mounted it. You guys saw it. It's looking pretty good. 9.9 .9 lean burn electric fuel injection injection. Looks pretty sweet. Everything's bolted on. I'm just gonna add a couple more here. One, two, and another two over here. So that'll be bolted. I think that should be enough. Four on the plate, another four on the actual motor. That way it's not going anywhere. So I'll be happy with that. Okay, perfect. So now that we have the motor mounted, we have it completely secure. We were gonna try to turn it on, but we realized that the cables were a little short. So we went ahead and bought some extra power cables. I bought an extra five feet just so that we can uh, Put it towards the battery and it doesn't have any issues once we once we move it and this comes with the engine so it's a quick connect this is basically goes right here you see the two starts and it just connects just like that and then this we just connect it to the uh water fuel separator i'll show you guys right now and that should be a quick connect but right now what i need to do is splice these wires so we can add it to the main to the main line get a little bit more more footage here and then that should run to the battery so okay. right, so now that we have it connected basically we're just going to run it through we'll just keep enough slack to move it but you see right now i have it long if we need to cut it we'll cut it necessary i'm going to put it right through here and this should just once we put it through there it'll come out through this side It. Just push it through and you see we have enough hose. We're just gonna continue to pull it. And you see I got about another three feet or so here. And if you see down here, this is where I have my my fuel separator. This is the out. I'm just gonna take this guy out and uh, I have both a straight and a 90. The 90 is going to work a lot better that way once we put it it goes up and it just goes that way so i'm going to go ahead and insert that there and then we'll go ahead and uh connect them and put a stainless steel clamp and that should be it member
Look how it's gonna get shot. It's getting shrunk already. Yeah, you see how it's getting smaller? How is it getting smaller, Daddy? And the heat causes it to shrink. But it takes a while. Mm -hmm. Perfect connection. Daddy, look what you Water did. Water Put them in there. Yeah. Put them here. Put them both in there, actually. Daddy, does it walk on your bus? Mm -hmm. Perfect. So now we, we connected everything as you saw the connectors for the cables. Pretty simple black to black, red to red. And then the fuel line, we just got a little longer, five feet, and we just ran everything. Just remember before you start your engine, anytime you gotta add oil because when it comes from the manufacturer, they, um, they dump all the oil that way they're not uh, transferring any oil. So for this guy, it's either 10W40 or 10W30. I got 10W40 and this is for the Suzuki engine and just check your manual and it'll tell you exactly what you need. I checked my manual, it doesn't need Suzuki oil. You can check anything as long as it has that this stamp right here. The FCW, it has to be compatible with that and this says Suzuki so just for my Western Marine. That's pretty much it. We just added the oil, it's ready to go. I got my hose and we're gonna try to start it, see if it go. Say I make you nervous, a tragedy, I'm a beautiful disaster, a reckoning, you wonder how I got this way. Come on. <laughs> so, when you turn it on, make sure your key's in, otherwise it won't start. I was already... Neutral? 